Hello Flames Nation and welcome to another installment of Tuesdays with Trevor. Uh, joining me today is none other than Coach Nangle with Liberty Lacrosse. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Happy to be here. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, Coach Nangle, she's, uh, she's awesome. Not only a great coach, but an even better person. And just the way that she runs her program um, is what I try and emulate with our girls. And um, she doesn't know that, but now she does. But uh, she, she's been great for me and just a, an incredible resource. Um, and just anytime I have questions, she's had an open door policy. So uh, thanks again for joining us. Uh, tell us a little about, about yourself and kind of where you're from. Yeah, I'm from Philly originally. So diehard Eagles fan. Oh man. Uh, you know, it's tough times right now. Big time. We just got to get rid of Carson and move along <laughs> and see what's going to happen. But um, yeah, I was at Central Connecticut before this. So I got here and I'm like, oh, it's a lot warmer here than it is in Connecticut. Yeah. Um, yeah, and now I'm, this is the most kind of rural I've ever lived. I'm, I'm a city girl, so. Yeah. But now I'm, I'm eight years in here, so I guess I'm getting a little used to, you know, the mountains and this atmosphere, but yeah. 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 Why, why Liberty for you? Mm -hmm. Well, in the, I always say, I almost want to say in the recruiting process, it's funny because when I was looking to come here, I kind of put myself in a recruit shoes and I'm walking through campus and this was a long time ago before we had so many of the things we have yeah. and I'm thinking to myself there's not really a whole lot of things that would turn me away um, from this place and I think the one of the biggest things about Liberty is just the potential is, is unlimited mm. like I feel like I could have came here we could have built something really special with a special group of kids and you know there's no ceiling I think especially in our sport you can be at a school where there's not a lot of resources and you can kind of be boxed in with really what you can accomplish. And um, I think with our administration and just the support of, of the athletic program here, um, really made me excited about what we could do. Um, and I think, you know, the type of kid that we get to bring in is really unique to it. It helps us just create a culture um, that is fun to be a part of and fun to, to coach. So, yeah, and I think, you know, eight years in, I'm still, we're still rising. And I think it's funny, our slogan is rise with us, but I think it's, it's very true. I sure. mean, this place is continuing to just get better and better um, every year. So it's, it's exciting. Yeah, yeah. And you guys are getting better and better every year as well, too. Um, you have this Team 10. Uh, can you explain to our fans what, what that is? Yeah, so our Team 10 is our culture. And it's something a few years back, we had to sit down and look at, you know, as coaches, I think, you know, we think we're doing stuff well and we're really, you know, driving and then you get feedback from the kids and it's not exactly what you thought it was. So we had to kind of humble ourselves and be like, what are we doing? What are we missing? And so we kind of looked at our rules and just our expectations and we felt like it was a lot, you know, a lot of pages, a lot of things. So we were thinking, how can we simplify this? You know, and we say, we, there's 10 commandments. You know, God's not asked, not, he's not giving us a list of rules. And so we thought, okay, how can we make this? How can we simplify this? Make it biblical, but real life. How, yeah. we, how can we live this out? So we came up with 10 things that we really feel like encapsulate everything we're looking for. And we really, we've, we took the time, we created it. And I think the next step was just really committing to it. So we talk about it every day. We talk about it in their individual meetings. And it's helpful for us as a staff because we have to keep ourselves in check too. Like sure. one of ours is have a good attitude. And I'm like, do I have a good attitude all the time? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably not, right. but I have to be careful because if we're asking the kids to do these things then we need to make sure we're doing them too. So sure. um, it's just really evolved and it's become something the girls are really proud of. And you know, we've said this before and as coaches, you know, like when they're running it on their own and when they're excited about it and they're brought into it, you know, the sky's the limit. And then as coaches, you don't even have to really you know they're they're you know organizing it on their own and yeah. um it's just really cool to see the fruit that we've been bearing just yeah. by committing to these 10 principles and it's awesome too because you know they're kind of self-policing and uh you know it gives them autonomy which is yes is huge. yes yeah. and i think another big thing that we tried to do is not just hold them to it but also encourage and celebrate the kids that are doing the right thing yeah. because there are there are culture kids in our team that maybe they're not the best players but they're just as important as the kid that's scoring five goals. Sure. And it's really important that we highlight that because then that also drives, you know, their excitement to be a part of it because yeah. we're recognizing them and we're, we understand how important that kid is to our program. So yeah. uh, it's been fun to kind of think of unique ways to kind of celebrate them. Yeah. 
I think one of the ways is like they get like a special tape around their stick. Is that is that yes, correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So what we started was we, we have a flame sticker ceremony every semester. Yeah. And if you make it through a semester without getting a check, which is basically going against our system, you get a flame sticker. And what we've learned that has been really awesome through all this is those flame stickers are like the most prized possessions that they could have. Yeah. So it's really cool again that they bought into it because I you know you see football teams and they have those stickers on their helmets. And we're like, what can we do? And so we came up with the flame sticker and they put them on their stick. And um, I think you saw after I had talked I did, to that you yeah. saw like one of our kids yep. and you noticed it. And that's cool too yep. because the more that the girls see that other people are invested in it, it makes them feel special. Because again, like yeah. yes, that kid that has a flame sticker on her stick should be just as celebrated as the kid that maybe you saw that got player of the week, you know? Sure, um, sure. So it is a cool way of them, and they do, they put them on their sticks with like pride, and yeah. um, and we've made a little plaque in our locker room, just again, awesome. so we can celebrate the kids that are really, really like growing and developing our culture, and it's, yeah. it's just really been an awesome thing to watch develop, and it's yeah. fun. We get to think of different ideas, like, I love it. You, know, uh, you know, how can we continue to make this like fresh and exciting for them, so yeah. it's really worked out for us. Yeah, I remember giving a girl some daps for that, and she uh, she had no idea who I was, and she's like, "Who's this guy?" And I'm yeah. like, "Hey, congrats on the sticker." Yeah, <laughs> and she's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> I know, and I remember yeah. hearing that story, and that's where I was like, yeah. "Yeah," and we try to do that with our all of our staff, even our support staff, just so they know, like, they have a copy of the Team Ten, so everybody's saying the same thing because you know, and I don't know because I don't have kids, but I can imagine it's like a lot like parenting. Like, I'm gonna go to mom for something, and I'm gonna go sure. to dad for something else to see if I get the same answer. Sure. And so it's really important that we're kind of consistent across the board. And it's been a really fun thing that yeah. our whole staff has bought into. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. I appreciate you yeah. and, and good luck this season thank you. for you guys. Until next time, go Flames. <laughs>